Well, science students, and welcome to To Go Lab number five, the balloon lab, where we're testing out some static electricity. So first, we just, in your bag, get some instructions. We felt uh, a balloon and a spare balloon in case something went wrong, and you pop the first one. A whole bunch of confetti. Hopefully, you counted out about 100. And you also had a piece of aluminum foil to use as one of your test items. And finally, we have the plate. I've already put the confetti on my plate in this picture, so you can get an idea of about what 100 is going to look like on that plate. You're also going to need to use your own hair or someone's hair and a t-shirt, and then you get to choose your own material to, to try out. So each of these we repeated three times. So when I tried the t-shirt on the balloon, I did not get a lot of confetti, pretty low amount, but t-shirt materials are pretty different from each other. They are not all super similar, which means that you're going to get pretty different results. I didn't get any from my t-shirt, which probably means that it was the wrong kind in order to make that happen. Test two with the aluminum foil. We did this one three times as well. And this time, uh, I think on one or two of my tests, I got a little bit, but and some of them do fly up there, but I did not get a lot. So we averaged you know, around 10 for the aluminum foil. Next, we tried out the felt. And you maybe noticed that the, the felt that we gave you is sort of plastic feeling, and it turns out it, it doesn't really charge the balloon very well either. So I got a few uh, of the pieces of confetti to, to jump up onto the balloon, but very little. And you can see I even maybe got a little too close on that trial compared to the others, the one where I got extra. Next one was hair. Uh, you can probably feel it even as you're charging it up that the hair is going to be very different. And all of a sudden... The confetti is flying up like crazy. So uh, hair charges the balloon really well. That's because they have different affinities for those electrons. The hair gives it away pretty well, and I think the balloon collects it really well. So I averaged somewhere around 40 for the three trials for the hair. And I only held it you know, a couple inches away. I didn't tip it all the way in. So you may have gotten bigger numbers if you got a little closer. Uh, for my fifth item, I chose uh, my dog's fur, and he seemed to volunteer okay. And it seems like, even you can kind of see from this picture, that the confetti jumps even more strongly to the balloon than did with my hair. And, I, and in fact, I averaged probably a little less than 50 there, maybe around 50 as, so quite a bit more than my own hair. Uh, finally, you got to do your little challenge. And I chose to go and just use my dog's hair. I, I only tried charging the balloon for about 30 seconds. I didn't charge it for the full three minutes, uh, but we were able to get that to stick to the wall pretty nicely so i a few of you may have struggled with this part so either you didn't put the right part of the balloon on the wall or your wall just doesn't um allow that induced charge what pushes the charges away and then comes back uh, you can see all my results here in this video i didn't do the averages for you so that you could do that part of the math but it gives you an idea of the results so dog fur most t-shirt least for me if you try different materials or you use different materials at home uh, you may have gotten different results than I did for those. But the felt should be pretty low and the hair should be pretty high. Should be kind of your general trend on those. And that's just because different materials share electrons differently. And when you do the triboelectric charging or charging by contact, that's really going to create very different results depending upon the materials you tried. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that lab uh, and hopefully get all those questions written up and done for me real soon. Thank you.